Our universe is full of mysteries, not least because of its size, it gives rise to some amazing natural phenomena and new occurrences that we are discovering daily here on our rocky little planet. But it seems outside the realms of black holes and such other naturally occurring structures that one of the biggest space mysteries comes from nothing. Imagine trillions of stars, countless phenomena and yet the biggest mystery in the universe comes from an area of nothingness. In the vast expanse of atoms, matter and light that is our universe, the greatest mystery is where there is nothing, what lies in the dark. This area of nothingness is the infamous Buetes Void, a massive, sparse and lonely empty area of space, and it isn't a small area either. At almost 350 million light years in diameter, this sphere of nothing is one of the biggest known things in the universe. For the last 40 years, Buote's Void has been baffling scientists. How can such a large area of such little contents exist slap bang in the middle of what we thought was a uniform distribution of matter all over the universe? We've been pondering the mystery for decades. Is this area of loneliness just an extreme natural phenomena, the biggest of which has ever been observed, or is it something more sinister? It seems the answers to these questions truly lie in the dark. Buote's Void is a massive, empty region of space unlike anywhere else known. It was discovered in 1981 by Robert Krishna and his team as part of a survey of redshifts, a study of massive interstellar objects moving away from us in the observable universe, when by chance they discovered a gargantuan spherical region of space located in the Buote's constellation approximately 700 million light years from Earth. An area of this size in this location should contain approximately 10,000 galaxies and trillions of stars. But yet, as you can see, it appears to contain nothing. Just a huge, empty black space, slap bang in the middle of the universe. The area has been surveyed to be an approximated 330 million light years across, a massive 0.27% of the diameter of the observable universe. In 40 years of observations and research, only 60 galaxies have been found within Buote's Void, all distributed in an unusual shape. To put this in some kind of perspective, finding 60 galaxies in this region is like travelling from coast to coast of the United States and finding only a few towns along its vast expanse, and this doesn't even take into account the fact that such a long journey cross country is only two dimensional. Our own galaxy has no less than 24 galactic neighbours within 3 million light years, again retaining the sparsity of the area. Voids are empty areas of space and are common across the observable universe. Huge gaps exist between galaxies and stars of bleak emptiness and the gravity of stars and galaxies allows for these pockets of space to be emptied of matter. But to find such a large area so perfectly situated in the middle of a huge array of stars and galaxies is unheard of. Due to its size, at an almost inconceivable 236,000 megaparsecs cubed it is often referred to as the super void or the great void. Another thing that baffles scientists and alarms others is its almost perfect circular formation around the boundaries. It seems as if this void might be growing or expanding. Another pressing question is to find out why it is so dark. Is there really nothing in there or is it an indication that something is consuming the light within the area? All these questions scientists do not yet have solid answers for, but one spokesperson Greg Aldering did go on record as saying that the scale of the void is so vast that if Earth was situated at the centre of this void we wouldn't have known that there were other galaxies in the observable universe until the 1960s. It's certainly mysterious and it's even prompted some scientists to go back to the drawing board over their theories of galaxy formation and the uniform distribution of matter after the Big Bang. If nothing else, this is yet a colossal indication of how little we understand about our universe and how it works. The question scientists and observers alike have been asking is just how can this area exist? How can such a well-formed void exist in such a dense area of space? Voids are forming all the time and it doesn't go against any rules of science for a void to form in space, but for one this size, the universe would have to be much, much older for the formation of a single natural void of this scale. The phenomena has even been bringing doubt over the Big Bang Theory, but there are some theories of how it came to be. A popular one is dark energy. Some believe that some strange unknown object is pushing out dark energy hundreds of millions of light years around it, with dark energy and dark matter still being an area of science we know next to nothing about. As a result, some even believe that Buote's void might be the other side of a black hole turned wormhole. All the dispersed energy from a supermassive black hole is being emitted here by puncturing the fabric of the universe and emerging somewhere else. This, if true, would answer the age-old question of what is the other side of a black hole and would go some way to answering what happens to matter once consumed by a singularity, though this theory is unlikely. 
Some computer models suggest that the void is caused by galaxies being drawn to each other in a freak snowball-like reaction that emptied out a massive area such as Buote's void exponentially, but then again, this relies on the universe being much older than originally thought. However, some of the Void's greatest mysteries may well hide the answers to its origin. A more plausible theory is that smaller Voids are coming together by attraction at their boundaries and merging like soap bubbles. As mentioned earlier, the 60 known galaxies within Buote's Void all seem to be in a weird formation, namely a tube-like shape. This mysterious formation may actually be our biggest clue to its origins. Aldering noted the tube-like structure and suspected that the void is a result of smaller voids coming together via attraction at the boundaries, which causes the boundaries to merge and disperse in a bubble-like fashion. The tube was likely caused by the remnant of a boundary between two voids. While unexciting, this is the most plausible theory and probably the most likely. However, one theory that is always put forward in a discovery like this is aliens or an extraterrestrial civilization. But while this is always a fairly trivial theory put forward, Buote's Void has come into question before with regards to the search for extraterrestrial life. Sure, there's a lot we can gather about the Void's formation, but given some unexplained features of it, there are some who believe that we cannot rule this theory out. Obviously, when theorising over something like this, aliens are always a topic for discussion but must always be your last hypothesis. But Buote's Void has become somewhat of a conversation for alien enthusiasts for a few reasons. If you watched the episode on Tabby Star and the possibility that some kind of civilization was building what's known as a Dyson structure or sun harvesting device around a nearby star, then you'll be familiar with the Kardashev scale, a scale proposed by Nikolai Kardashev that ranks theoretical civilizations by the power they have based on their control of the area of space around them and their control over nearby stars. We we covered a Type 2 civilization, a race that has complete control over all the energy emitted from its solar system's host star, and this was achieved by a Dyson structure, a large structure that encapsulates a star and harvests all its energy. However, there is a type above, a Type 3 galactic civilization, and the theoretical power this civilization has is truly mind boggling. A Type 3 civilization, by default, can control all the stars in its host galaxy, that's hundreds of billions of stars at once. As a direct result of developing a Dyson structure, a Type 3 civilization would replicate this, ever expanding across their host galaxy, consuming all the stars at a worrying speed as the power they are harnessing allows for technology advancement to take off exponentially. Aliens have been mentioned in connection with Boote's Void due to the extremely well-preserved nature of the spherical void. It makes sense for an advanced race to colonise and then spread outwards in a spherical manner. This isn't an impossible wacky theory either. Scientists are analysing the light coming from galaxies at the outer edge of the void, because if they start dimming, then the void is, indeed, being expanded by something unnatural. And given the light we see around the void is hundreds of millions of years old, if this area is expanding, then it might be coming our way. This would have to be, in truth, an incredibly dominant conquering race, and more like a hypothetical Type 4 than a Type 3, as they would have over 10,000 galaxies in their grasp, let alone just the one, and this incorporates an inconceivable amount of harvested stars. This does shed doubt on the theory. It seems very unlikely that a single race could consume so much space. But, however unlikely, there are people out there who believe that intelligent life could have emerged in the universe about 4 billion years ago, and this ancient civilization has had the time to create such an insane feat in engineering. Dyson structures cause stars to fall dark due to them consuming the light, so a large black space is not entirely out of character for such a conquest of the stars, with just black emptiness being emitted from an ever-growing field of consumption. If this were to be an alien civilization, it would have to be some kind of civilization where AI has superseded its host race. Such a uniform conquest would take time, persistence and constant intelligent measuring. And if such a race were to be anything like us, then something would have changed in such a massive process by now. But say if this were an AI driven civilization that has outgrown its master race, as we have legitimate concerns that our budding AI industry might do one day, then you could almost theorise that Buote's Void could be the home of the most powerful virus in the universe. It would be an automated conquering and expanding in a perfect circle, AI with a will of its own just to conquer, gaining exponential increases in power with new each star acquisition. It's scary stuff to say the least, although it is very unlikely next to the soap bubble theory. Regardless of a conquest, Buote's Void has that little bit of mystery that lends itself to the unthinkable. The fact that something intelligent might have existed or may still exist within the most perfect hiding place in the universe. If not aliens, and this is just an unusually large void, then one interesting thing about it is that it has the potential to work as a universal time capsule. The void is overwhelmingly dark and lonely, on a scale we can't even begin to imagine. There is so little light that it would seem blacker than black to a human observer, and unlike quite a lot of the space in our local neighbourhood, there are no particles, no molecules, just simply nothing. The low density of the area as a result 
means that patterns of neutrinos and photons that go through it would not be affected and would leave the void unchanged, exactly the same as they went in. Dust and rocks are fairly common in galaxies, but there's literally nothing in the way of anything that has the misfortune to travel into this void, not even particles. This means that Buote's void could be used as a huge enormous area of preservation. If you were to launch light or matter at the speed of light or just below it into the void, it would emerge hundreds of millions of years later looking untouched. This is all due to the density and absence of resistance. This also gives rise to the possibility of superfast travel. With so little in the way, the void would be the ideal place to manoeuvre at 99.999% the speed of light or at a similar speed. Both of these possibilities go further to simply illustrate just the fact that there is nothing in the void. 300 million light years of no particles, no stars, no noise, no dust, no rocks, no anything. No matter how lonely you ever feel, just take comfort in the fact that you are nowhere near the spookiest, most eerie place in the universe that we know of. Subspace, time capsule, alien kingdom, or whatever Buote's void may be, the one thing that is clear within that patch of darkness is that we do not know nearly as much about the universe that we'd like to. We have been able to look back in time to the very beginning of the universe. We've been able to capture images of black holes, discover Earth-like planets trillions of miles away, and yet our biggest mysteries lie where there is simply nothing. We're so used to our ideas, namely the uniform distribution of energy within the universe, that a big empty space could well put question marks over these theories. It is, in reality, most likely the cause of the soap bubble effect, with several smaller voids merging into larger ones. However, with such a voluminous area, it makes you wonder what secrets could be hiding behind the Twilight Curtain. This prospect that it could be some sort of AI-based virus swallowing stars at an alarming rate is mind-blowing to think about, but the fact that it may be the other end of a black hole is just a staggering. No matter what it is, it seems that we won't know or have a definitive answer, but the very existence of this thing is just haunting. Imagine just looking into it, just seeing it in space, and seeing just how little there is inside. Just a huge, black, empty space within a vast, dense universe. 300 million years travelling at the speed of light and never touching a single particle, just cruising through the desert of the universe, which is so vast and scary that it surely would send an earthly observer mad. Maybe one day we'll understand Buoti's void better, how it formed, when and why it did, but in the meantime, it seems that we will quite literally remain in the dark. I thank you very much for watching and I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, please help it out by giving it a thumbs up, and if you're new around here, if you could consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos, then I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot guys, and don't forget to reach for the stars.